Base $600,000. Bull case, $1.5 million by 2030. That is Kathy Wood's Bitcoin price prediction, and we absolutely love it. Log into OpenSea with just your email. What? Pudgy penguins are almost half the price of a board ape. Chaos to clarity, noise to narrative. It is Friday, January 12th. Thank God it's Friday, and it is time for some rare bits. Today, the Crypto Greed and Fear Index is a 71 minus 5 degrees from yesterday. NFT sentiment is 30 degrees. We are riding equal to yesterday in the cold zone. Top crypto search term is script network, call sign SCPT. Why are they searching for it? It is up 651.8% on the seven day. Why did I miss that? Top NFT search term is Lisa Leslie. She is a famous Olympic basketball player. Bitcoin dominance is 50.08 flat today. Actually, it's down twice. It's down two days, two days in a row. We have Ethereum dominance up four days in a row, all the way up to 17.42% today. NFT trade volume on the Ethereum side is up. It's up on Solana as well. Wow, active wallets are down on both. Why is it? Because most of the people that are moving stuff around are whales. Axie Infinity revamps the SLP token. Mercedes-Benz debuts new tech at CES 2024. X ditches NFTs for video. What? Gas Heroes booms 19 million plus trading volume. We are going to get into that. Tune.fm just raised $20 million. And now Sony cameras have a birth certificate. We are going to get into all that stuff and so much more, but let's quick, you know, let's take a quick look at the markets and see what's going on. Resume share. Look at it. The top coins. We can see where the red is. We can see the only green is Ethereum and Lido staked Ether. Ethereum, man, I, I, I would love. So one of my friends is one of the OG founders from Ethereum, and I would love to get him on to talk about some of the future plans for Ethereum. But just looking at the market, we have 43,580 for Bitcoin. It is down 5.8% on the 24-hour. Ethereum continues its tear, 2.2% up to 26.57. Oh, my God, we'd love to see it. Solana, depressingly, has moved down to the number five spot in market cap. We like to see Solana when it's up here, but it is what it is. Oh, my goodness. Looking at the coinage heat map for the 24-hour Look at the red, look at the red, look at the red. Is it any better? Does it make me any happier if we look at the one hour? Yes, look at that. Pick the map that looks better. So looking at the one hour, everything is rosy again, but in all honesty, when in doubt, look out. So we just need to look. So the market movement on the 24 hour, Bitcoin down quite a bit, AVAX down a crack in almost 6%. Um, Ethereum has just stayed resilient through this stuff. I do like to see it on the one hour. What's popping back? Anything good. So nothing super green except TIA. Meh. Let's look at the crypto bubbles for market cap. Looking at a visual representation. We can see what we can see. You're having a look at it as I am. Um, you know, it's interesting. Buy the rumor, sell the news. Is that what happened? Is there a lag time? Is some of the stuff that is playing into this um, have to do with when the SEC announced these were going to go live one day before markets closed. Did the tweet that they sent out saying Bitcoin ETFs were approved, one, it's really interesting that they regained access to their accounts so quickly. It's unheard of in crypto Twitter land, as far as I'm concerned, to have a hacker get your account and literally get it back within 30 minutes. So was that a mistaken scheduled tweet that went out a day early? And was it done with the idea of softening the blow with all of this trying to reduce FOMO? Whether it has happened or not, I think this weekend is going to be interesting to see how the markets react when people can't trade on the open markets and they find out that they can trade the actual coins, not the stocks, but watching the stocks take off, it has been a huge success. Um, so the ETF launch, it, 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 it brought the heat. And I don't think we've truly seen the ramifications of exactly how much heat it has brought just yet. Looking at the 
Ethereum heat map for the top collections. We see Azuki's in the green, Board Apes are in the red, Mutant is turned back in the green. Oh my God. Mutant Ape Yacht Club, 3.985 Ethereum for a floor mutant ape. They are losing value. So we've got a $10,000 floor on the mutants. We've got a $61,000 floor on the board ape. That is a six to one. We do not like to see that. They used to be much closer. They have lost some of that honor spot. And we are looking at 11 Ethereum for pudgy penguins and 23 Ethereum for board ape. How long do you think it takes for the pudgies to overtake the board ape? Do they overtake the board ape? Does the Yugen gaming stuff come out quick enough to rally this community? Does the clubhouse actually come to fruition and give them a place to call home? I'm super upset to see D guys down below three Ethereum at 2.84 and Moonbirds, they are at one ETH. Clone X is also at about one ETH. Just depressing, depressing, especially if you're a holder. Um, the heat map for Solana, holy moly, reds and greens. We see it, we see it. All right, we, we, we see what's going on there. I do want to look at the top moving collections on the Ethereum side. We'll look at the top five. Mutant Ape Yacht Club, Azuki Moonbirds, the memes by Punk6529, and ENS Name Service. Number five, ENS Name Service. It is down 70% on the 24-hour, which is interesting because it wasn't too long ago that Vitalik came out and said that there was going to be some, some, some cosplay between the ENS and the uh, some of the updates that they have rolling out in the ecosystem, I think they're going to work hand in hand. So it seems that there was a pump off of that initial news, but the market has settled down back around that. Wow, just looking at the number six spot, which is Clone X, also at out one ETH. That has got to be depressing for a bunch of those holders. Moonbirds, one ETH. Azuki, seven ETH. They are climbing and strong. Uh, next up, we have... Let's just look at the top movers on Solana. Okay, Bears, Bonks, Patches, Fox, Famous, Federation, and Clanosaurus. We love the Clanos. And Okay, Bears have created a stir. One of my homeboys, Shrimp, has been rocking his Okay, Bear PFP, causing a ruckus in Twitter land. But we love to see all kinds of shit like that. Now, I want to switch back to some of the news that I think is important and worth some of your time. And we will do it quick because I know your time is valuable. As I talked about, there is some Axie Infinity news. They are basically reworking the SLP token. They are introducing a cap supply of $44 billion, and they're doing this for stability. There is a social contract which enforces this cap, and they're aiming for a 2% deflation rate. Community seems to love this. They've created a stability fund. And basically, every two SLP that are added, 10 get burned. So as I said, the community rallied behind this decision. The SLP token has risen about 8%, and they're introducing new gameplay and modes and fee structures, all allowing this SLP to be earned without cashing out. Mercedes-Benz unveils the in and excuse me, Mercedes Benz unveils the car NFT app. It's called as MBUX Collectibles. They premiered this at the CES in Las Vegas 2024, and users can basically integrate their NFT wallet with the car and create a private art gallery, making the inside of the Mercedes as beautiful as the outside. X ditches NFT avatars for premium subscribers, signaling a video first approach. What does this even mean? We're seeing Meta kind of follow suit. The future of NFTs on X is uncertain. The video first approach is going to really highlight UGC moving forward, which continues to be a big buzzword in 2024 as sponsors, companies, everybody is geared around generating that good content and user generated content is the key to unlocking community spirit in my opinion. Gas Heroes, Polygon's NFT platform, it is exploded past $19 million. Keep your eye on Gas Heroes. Unfortunately, at this time, 16 countries are locked out due to regulatory hurdles, but we know that Sandeep is pushing boundaries behind the scenes. Top of the show, I mentioned Tune FM. They secured $20 million. They're going to revolutionize artist pay with 90% boost through the jam token. And NFT integration, LDA Capital is backing the project. We are always a fan of artists getting paid. 
Sony camera creates birth certificates for photos, stamping each image with a unique identifier for its authenticity. This is a game changer for photo truth. Sony, why didn't you do this on the blockchain? Which brings up that question, does everything need to be on the blockchain? I do not think so, but I love exploring it. The spot Bitcoin ETF approval in the US, it sends ripples through basically all the ecosystems. I do think we do see an NFT surge as the water settles. We've already seen a 30% surge in the last 24 hours. People are going to be looking at the market with new interest and confidence, and I think it will be contagious for the art space. The SEC approves the spot first Bitcoin BTF, and Elizabeth Warren is already complaining about a bunch of stupid shit. I don't want to get her any airtime, but in the mornings, I wake up and I write my Substack. I post that every day early so you can read it. I format it so you can read it on your digital trading device, aka your mobile phone. It is a good quick read of some of the stuff I went through. All the charts are in there. First thing you do in the morning, have a look at that. I run through all the top stories. There's bullet points at the top. You only read shit you want to read. It's concise. It's exactly what you need. Now, on once I do my Substack, then I record a podcast of that news. So if you don't want to read it, you can listen to it on the way to work. Then later that day, I get into the live news. And here is the rub. I am recording this because I do not have enough subscribers to go live because you need 60 and I have four. I can't even call them subscribers because I know each of them by name. So you can help me out by pushing whatever buttons people push. I'm new to this. Subscribe. And as soon as I can go live, I will be bringing some crazy interactive content to you MFers, which I am super excited about. Be kind whenever possible. It's always possible. That's the show. Remember the rabbit hole runs deep. Still craving crypto clarity. Subscribe to my Substack. Listen to the podcast Rare Bits. You can find it everywhere. That's it. Warning. Rare biz. Yo. It's live. So you fuck shit up sometimes. But I do want to send out a warning that rare bits may cause hodling. Y'all have a good day. Boom. <laughs>